And I love apple pie, it's one of my favorite things to bake. And so today, I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna make an apple pie sundae bar. I don't know about you, but I like having my pie a la mode, so I thought, what if we flip that over and what if we put pie elements on ice cream? So I'm going to break down all the components of my apple pie cake, make them, I'm gonna make some ice cream, and then we're gonna set it all up and enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Wait, first, I have to visit my past I'm here with you from the past. Ooh. Okay, ready? You need to make your ice cream custard or your base and let it rest and chill before you create the ice cream. So in this pot, I'm going to mix uh, milk, cream, and brown sugar. So we're putting that in the pot and we want the sugar to dissolve and we want this to come to a boil, okay? but. As you know, at first it seems like nothing's happening and then all of a sudden it's boiling. You wanna be careful with that. And then in a heat proof bowl, you are going to whisk together egg yolks, sugar, and salt. If you wanna make this recipe, everything will be listed down below. I would do this, but it will go wrong. So I will say that this mixture can sometimes look curdled. And it only happens when I do it with brown sugar, but it works out, it's boiling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna temper the eggs with this hot milk cream mixture. So you have to whisk constantly and then just pour it in slowly. If you pour it all in too fast, you're just gonna make scrambled eggs. We need a pot with a spout. She's kind of floating. So like, leave her, so leave her out. Okay, She's being difficult, her. yeah. The vanilla! Now what you wanna do is pour this whole mixture back into your pot. Ooh, look at the side of the pot. Ew, that looks like meh. Custard had a rough night out. Okay, so now what you wanna do is cook this custard for two to three minutes and you wanna keep stirring and you just wanna thicken the custard until it coats the back of your spoon really nicely. It does, but like a candle you'd want to eat. And then you just strain the whole mixture and that will get out any little bits of yolk, anything that might be in there. There should be ice in the water below, but we don't have ice at the studio. And then vanilla. So you wanna take this custard, let it cool completely, and then you're gonna cover it and chill it overnight. This is a cinnamon ice cream. So I already uh, boiled the milk and cream, and this time, instead of it being boiled with brown sugar, it's boiled with cinnamon sticks, and then you actually have to cover it and let it steep for about a half an hour. The exact same thing, I'm going to mix egg yolks, get in there, sugar, and then this is ground cinnamon and salt. And we're whisking. and then we'll get back to future me making ice cream like this. Hey guys, I'm back here in real time, and now I can make the ice cream that past me prepared. I like time travel. Thank you, past Yo, for being so organized. All you have to do is pour your prepared base into the chilled cylinder, and then the machine does the rest for you. We should invent more machines like this. Look at that action. You wanted action, Eli? Just look at that action. So the reason I decided to make these two flavors of ice cream is they replace the buttercream flavor in my apple pie cake. So we're not gonna make you watch this churn for 15 to 20 minutes, so next scene. Past me also made some of my pie dough. It's an all butter pie dough. And now I'm gonna roll out this dough and create some shapes. So now I'm going to do something, just because I like to torture myself, I'm going to try and make a bunch of little lattices. First thing I'm gonna do is cut strips. I laid out five pieces of dough. I'm gonna fold up. Oh, it's breaking. See, this is when I get into that state of, why'd you do this to yourself? On today's edition of Yolanda, why did you do this to yourself? I kind of want to chill this and then cut out the circles. Can you take this giant board, please? So I, now I'm going to egg wash the lattice. I'm sugaring the dough. I love a crisp sugaring.
I'm, let us put this lattice in the fridge and then we'll bake it. Preheat the oven to 350. Let's get ready to crump. Come on. Yeah, we need some baritone, ready? Let's get ready to crumble. We're excellent. I'm gonna make some of my pie crumble. It's really easy to make. It's similar to the way you make a pie dough. You can make it by hand or in a food processor. The only difference is it's brown sugar instead of white sugar and there's no water. I just get my hands in and then you just wanna like crumble it together. Compress it and then break it up into chunks. Let's take a vote in the comments. Who is a double crust apple pie? Who's team double crust? And who's team crumble? I'm team crumble. You also wanna make sure that when you bake this, you rotate the tray, and if the crumble is coming together on the tray, that's okay, just use a wooden spoon to break it up. Break it up. So I have my vanilla spice cake here. I baked it as a nine by 13. I'm gonna remove it from the pan, level it, and then we're going to use circle cutters to cut out some cake rounds. And we'll be building our sundaes in these little pie dishes. So now I'm gonna simple syrup these cake rounds with my apple spice simple syrup. No, I want your, um, can you come on camera? Can you take a bite and tell the people? Come down to my level. Come down to 5-3. Come down here. Gave it some. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I'm gonna saute some apples. And what you need are apples, unsalted butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And I like using Granny Smith because they're nice and firm and tart. So they're gonna get some sweetness from the butter and the natural caramelization that happens. You can use whatever apple you want, but don't use a mealy apple. Don't use a soft apple. And then if you use an apple that's too sweet, it'll be too sweet. Yeah, so exactly. basically, use Granny Smith. And now, <laughs> and now I'm gonna set up my little sauteing station. Ooh, I love that. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Brown sugar. So you don't wanna just throw your apples in. I'm going to place them nicely because I wanna make sure to cook both sides of the apple. Oh wait, cinnamon, I need cinnamon. Oops. Oh, they, they're, they look, look. <laughs> Can you get a close up? Yeah, I have Look at that, Ooh, it, it can't, it cannot pick up the apple. It's too much of a job. Come here, come here. <laughs> Go on now. You look great. You look amazing. It's time for the best part of my job. Mmm. <gasps> okay. I can't even handle that. I just want to taste the apple with the caramel. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Tell us the pie you're inspired by and how you would break it down into a bar. <clears throat> and then invite us, please. Mm-hmm. That's your homework. Let us go. Enjoy our Sunday. Okay, we can cut now. It's gonna get embarrassing. <laughs>